Welcome to Unexplained YouTube. Story edition. So, guys, um, since you guys like the story so much. So yes, much. So much. We're going we're gonna to do another here. Two in a row for you. Uh, and let's see what we got. We got the Hopkinsville encounter, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right. So let's, we, we do only have 15 minutes. So let's see how much of this we can get through. All of it. All of it. I love it. Innkeeper. I love it. Okay. The most unusual... I'm, I'm reading it. Okay. The most unusual event originated on the night of August 21st, 1955, located in the rural area of Christian County, Kentucky. <laughs> this UFO enigma <laughs> took place in that little town of Kelly, located near the small city of Hawkinsville. The family son would be targeted... A one-of-a-kind journey into the unknown. Uh, no. <laughs> the lifestyle of the typical Kentucky rural family has been kept intact for many decades. And the Sutton family fits this tradition to a T. Lucky Sutton. They got a guy named Lucky. There you go. That's all you need. Yep. As he was known to his friends and neighbors, was the patriarch of the Bluegrass Clan. Okay. They were a clan. That's They were a cute. clan. That's, that's nice. Okay. I love the American South. <laughs> this is more like Southern Midwest, so it's it's a little, it's just old. You know? Oh yeah, they, for they're uh, still yeah, Kentucky. Yeah. They're still back a century or two. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> they just discovered the wheel. <laughs> Visiting Lucky and his family was a man from Pennsylvania named Billy Ray Taylor. That's like the epitome of Southern names, right there. Oh, Billy. Billy Ray Taylor. Anyway, Billy went down to the well to get a drink. And there was no inside plumbing in the Sutton house. I told you, this, they just discovered wheel. This is going on damn wheel. At the well, he saw an immense shining object land in the gully about a quarter mile away. Running back to the house, he excitedly reported his sightings uh, in the, in, to the others in the house. Billy was laughed at. No one believed his crazy tale. After a short period of time, the family dog began to raise a ruckus outside. As was custom in those parts, Lucky and Billy grabbed their guns and headed outside, planning to shoot first and ask questions later. <laughs> Only a short distance from the door, both men were stopped dead in their tracks by the side of a three to four foot tall creature who was walking towards them with the hands up, as if to surrender. This... <laughs> This most bizarre creature will be described as having large eyes and a thin mouth, large ears, thin short legs, and hands in and in claws. All right. Cool. Both uh, frightened by the small greenish entity, Billy Ray fired a shot with his twenty-two caliber pistol, and Lucky unloaded with his shotgun. They gon' kill it hard and dead, huh? <laughs> Both men later admitted that there was no way they missed the creature at close range, but the little bean just did a backflip and ran into the woods in fright because they were shooting at it. I like how it tries to surrender and they just blow it away. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what's that? Kill it. <laughs> Get the Bible. <laughs> get the Bible. Get the Bible. Billy Ray, get the gun. Before it gets to the boars. <laughs> to the borders. No, <laughs> to the boars. They have pigs. Oh. I don't know if they actually did, but come on, they're eating something. Don't let it see the <laughs> Don't let it see the women folk. <laughs> don't let it see it's gonna get wind of their pheromones. <laughs> Alright. No sooner had the two men entered the house before the creature or another like it appeared at the window. They, sh they shot They shot him. God damn it. <laughs> Leaving a blast hole through the screen. They ran back outside to see if the creature was dead, but found no trace of it. Standing at the front of the house, the men were terrified by a cloud hand reaching down and touching his head. All right. That's unfortunate right there. <laughs> that is actually really terrifying. That you don't hear that in a lot of these cases. You don't hear about physical contact. This is one of the cases yeah. where it does happen. Yep. And, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll continue on here. It's a pretty interesting part of this. Again, they shot, but the man simply floated to the ground and scurried into the cover of the woods. Okay, creepy. The two men sought protection of the house again, only to find themselves under siege, Steven Seagal, from these little men. <laughs> For a time, the entities seemed to tease the family, appearing from one window to another. Taking pout shots through the windows and walls. 
their weapons were totally ineffective against the invading creatures. After several hours of fear, the Sutton family decided to make a break from the house and get help from the local police station up there in the Hopkinsville Territory. <laughs> Family members took two vehicles to the police station in Hopkinsville huh? and reported their strange tale to Sheriff Russell Greenwell. Finally persuading the policeman that they was not joking, the authorities, did, uh, did, uh, the authorities agreed to visit the Sutton house. Arriving at the farm, police found no trace of the creatures, but did find numerous bullet and rifle holes through the windows and walls. Greenwell was in charge of the 20-plus officer at the scene. That's that's the army right there. <laughs> that is, why does Hopkinsville have so many police on hand? <laughs> dude, that's that's quite a posse. That's like the local militia all came out. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, we got them little green fellers. <laughs> I'm going to put them, put them in the traveling circus. I'm going to get that P.T. Barnum money. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to get freak show mailbox money for this, son. <laughs> going to have a good Christmas this year, Aunt Mary. <laughs> okay. Going to buy me one of them new city lighters. <laughs> you know, I hear Thomas Edison invented a filament light bulb. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> I was in charge of the 20, the 20 plus officers at the scene. I reported that the Sutton seemed sober and they were genuinely frightened by something. All righty. After a canvas of the neighbors reported entering the street, they were hearing shots being fired and observation of lights in the sky. Exhausting all efforts to find the origin of the strange report, the police left Sutton Place around 2.15 a.m. As soon as they did, the creatures made their return. Unfortunate. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> all right. They began peeking through the windows, seemingly out of curiosity. And most gunfire took place, kill it. But again, with that effect, several more hours of antics followed, finally stopping just before daybreak. The police were finally persuaded to call in the Air Force personnel next morning, but a new search brought no results. After things had left, Billy Ray and Lucky had gone into Evansville, Indiana, I have been there, to take care of some business. Business gotta sell, gotta sell off the, the buffalo horn. <laughs> The, <laughs> this is only 1955. It's probably like... <laughs> How much you give me for it? I'll give you... Well, I got I got this here Spanish nickel. All right. Mm, give me that and uh, <laughs> some of that there bubbly gum. This here book was 14 months on a on a galleon, mister. Coming from, from high Europe over to the new world. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the... Jesus. Uh, take care of some business. The other family, the other five family members were questioned by the Air Force and police. On 8-22-55, the Kentucky New Era newspaper carried the story of events. Naturally, initial public opinion was that the whole story was a hoax. Hoax, fake. Call it, call it bullshit. If this was the case, several questions must be answered. Why would the Sutton family make up a such incredible claim? They made no money from the story and did not seek publicity. Why would they shoot holes in the walls of their own home, causing a financial drain on the family to repair the damages? Eh, and some spackles should poke up the holes. I mean, whatever. Yeah, you know, toothpaste, man. <laughs> Let that dry up in there. Anyway, basically, I'm just going to cut it there because that's the whole story. So we can talk about it for a few minutes here. Uh... They made sketches, and uh, they were all questioned separately, and they all gave the same exact story. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, the way they acted was credible, and the way other people heard them tell their stories uh, was also credible. Just nobody else saw the things. What right. do you think, Kendall? Well, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. They could have made up the story, and maybe they uh, there's bullet holes in the walls because they were trying to kill somebody. Mm-hmm. You know, and so instead of dishonoring the family, they just covered it up with this big old hoax. Yeah, maybe. I don't like to think that though. I like to think this actually happened, as terrifying as that is. You know? Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, you shoot up your house all night. Yeah. Uh, apparently, there were neighbors somewhere around to hear this, right? Well, the gunshots are pretty loud. I mean. Yeah, they are pretty loud, but you know, when you're out in the sticks, and I've been to Kentucky, you know. <laughs> 
it is yeah. pretty uh you got to you got to have your man sack in <laughs> you know to, <laughs> to want to live out there <laughs> you um, got to you got to have your frontier mode engaged you got to have your scrot stuffed <laughs> all right <laughs> it's and this was 1955. They didn't have uh, fancy telegraphs or anything back then. <laughs> they didn't have none of them movie picture places. <laughs> none of them Nickelodeon for a nickel. <laughs> you couldn't watch no motion black and white picture, miss. They didn't talk, talk. You say they might be able to talk in feature films in 10 years? I call bullshit, Bishop. <laughs> I'd like to see one of them talkies. <laughs> you tell me they have carriages that move themselves? Without oh, without <laughs> horses? Uh-uh. Horse-drawn man? It ain't natural. It ain't natural, Billy. <laughs> Where is it in the Bible that a man should travel with one of them fancy internal combustion engines? <laughs> it ain't nowhere, sir. It ain't natural. You can't take the Earth's blood and move man parts with it. <laughs> You can't do it. <laughs> it ain't right, Billy. It ain't right, Billy. Billy. One of them you know little what? green fellers gonna touch me in the night. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna get your wife. He's gonna take your daughter. <laughs> he's gonna take your pigs, your dog. <laughs> he's gonna leave you there alone and scared. <laughs> you know what he's gonna do to all your stuff, Billy? <laughs> he's gonna fuck it up. <laughs> That's a bit much. All right, whatever. <laughs> no, man. I think something happened. I mean, this was yeah. a big event. Yeah. And it's uh, one I mean, of, uh, yeah. yeah. Go, go ahead, son. No, it's, it's well recorded, and it's one of the more <clears throat> popular encounters. No, just like like we said earlier, because it has the physical contact and the damage to the house and everything. And the 20 cops plus Air Force <laughs> investigation. <laughs> That's insane, man. That's like these people of... had to draw up like a huge ruckus for this. I know. Yeah. Like this had to be like a huge just, you know, I I can't even fathom like 20 cops investigating a a claim that maybe happened. Mhm. Uh I mean, this was the 50s when, you know, Russians Russians and uh <laughs> whatever, but still it's it's quite a big deal. It is. Yeah. Uh, I'm just surprised that they had a car, two cars, let alone. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, but seriously though, yeah, back back in the '50s, it was pretty unheard of to have multiple cars, even back then. Well, Billy Ray was in town. Oh. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking one of the cars was his. Okay. <clears throat> but, oh, uh, one yeah. of them fancy city folk. Well, Billy, Billy come from the higher echelon of human, of human <laughs> types. He speaks he speaks with conjugates. <laughs> um, they tried to learn me about them vowels. They tried to learn me about them vowels. All I know is what is and what ain't, son. <laughs> what he is and what ain't. Isn't Kentucky where Bodette the Wobbler lives? Yeah, that'd be it. That'd be it. High taxes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Bodette the Wobbler. Yeah, that's where he lives. That's where he resides. Waiting for some soccer mom poom. Mm-hmm. Waiting. <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah, you know, draws him in. He lives out behind the uh, old log cabin that Lincoln used to, you know, do whatever <laughs> in. It's, yeah, live or make make uh, tanker toys or whatever. <laughs> make them Lincoln logs. Lincoln logs. Oh, <laughs> God. Good All fun. right. Well, what to say? I mean, I don't, I don't think, uh, I think something happened. I don't, I wouldn't go aliens, you know. I would never go aliens. I would never go off the wall. What else could it be, though? I mean, what the heck else? Bodet. Hmm. Maybe. Bodet's not active enough. Anyway, I mean, draw your own conclusions. I mean, I've. uh, Yeah, it's it's weird. I don't know what to say about this one. It's weird. It's it's freaky. You guys make up your own mind. This has been Unexplained YouTube. YouTube.